What's going on, you guys? Kid Behind a Camera here. We're just here. Kid Behind a Sunburn here. Today is Thursday, which means today I got a throwback Thursday no. story. Which is the story where Bridget crushed my fingers. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Apology rejected. So, I've got myself a sunburn. I actually got it at Dad's house yesterday. I went over, I was doing some stuff around the house. I was looking around at it. I was swimming in the pool, let's be honest. I went swimming in the pool, and I got sunburned. The reason I didn't upload a vlog yesterday was because I spent most of the day, aside from swimming in the pool getting sunburned, tracking down the guy that has the footage for the part two of the video, and I'm getting it this weekend. I finally got in touch with a guy, and he tells me he's on vacation, he'll be back Saturday, which means the video's probably going up Sunday. Needless to say, the next time I need help with a video, not using him. Anyway, forget this. My shoulders are burning. I'm tired of holding the camera up. <laughs> I want to get in and start my vlog Thursday style. Throwback Thursday style, crushed finger style. No. Bridget crushed my fingers. No, I didn't. Yay, oh, it hurts so bad. You're gonna hear about that in a little bit, though. With all this sunburn, I was thinking back to a time that I had sun poisoning before, which was actually the time that we had that uh, John boat accident when on our last family vacation. And I had horrible sunburn, and Dad goes, well, here, what you need to do is put vinegar on it. So I believed him. He pours vinegar on me, and it was instant horrible pain and itching and he did it on purpose so i've been in the process of replaying the last of us with bridget the witcher's over with now it's time for a new game no, it isn't. you're like clinging onto straws at this point the no, witcher's I'm over doing, i'm doing many quests and stuff it's kind of like when you can't stop playing gta and you start doing like the cab missions so we're playing the last of us michael your hair is on fire Fling. It's not funny to make fun of people, Bridget. I'm on fire. I felt like all day, <laughs> like my chest. Whoa. The sunburn. Why are you smoking? Stop. Oh. No joke, Bridget. My chest. Stop, my chest. I feel like I'm having a heart attack or something. It's just been all day. I think it might be the sunburn shit. Let me see. Ah, ah, I feel like, I think I'm, no, Bridget. Seriously. Michael? I don't know what's wrong. Ow! Is it supposed to feel so tight and like, uh, 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 Oh, Michael! Plank! You fucking asshole. That's right, that's how you do a plank. Be slow, please. Okay. This stuff hurts. Oh god, it's gonna be a lot. How much you got? How much? You just gonna put it on my back? Just a, just a little dab. Oh shit. Maybe you should get on your stomach. What? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michael, you know what I'm gonna do? Shit! You put it in your hand, you filthy bitch! What? You pulled it in your hand. Hey! <laughs> recording it! <laughs> Don't record this! <laughs> Stop recording it. No. Hey! How's <laughs> your sunburn? <laughs> Bill, well, don't let mama do this to me. Aw. Right now my back is covered in that blue crap and the shirt is sticking to me and this sucks. But I told you guys before I got out of here tonight that I was going to tell you the story about when Bridget crushed my fingers. So that's what I'm about to do. So this story begins a long time ago, last week. Not just last week, but specifically the morning that we gave Grandpa the house. So we just signed the papers for the house and Bridget and I showed up early. We told Grandpa to meet us there because we were gonna walk through the house and then of course give it to him. So we're waiting on Grandpa and I'm standing outside of Bridget's car. And the way that I've got my hand positioned is I'm holding the door while the window is open. So as I'm standing there holding the door, Bridget decides that's the moment she wants to roll up the window. And she does so while I'm still holding it. The window suctions closed on my fingers. I could hear the 
as the window got to the very top. My fingers are still trapped in this thing, so this thing has suctioned closed on my fingers. The scream that I let out was so loud that the new neighbors started coming out of their house to see what the fuck was going on. She rolls the windows up on my fingers, and I just... <laughs> And it ain't like she was like, oh, okay, and instantly rolls it down. It took a good five seconds before the window starts rolling down. My fingers were bleeding. The backs of them were starting to turn black and blue. And the pain was throbbing. My hand was going. And I couldn't believe how painful it was. I can't believe you didn't beat my ass. Bridget came running up and she had an ice pack that the owners of the house left in the freezer and she wraps it around my hand and I'm screaming and after about five minutes I look at it and the ice pack is covered in frozen blood. Oh my god. And it was excruciating pain. Finally, dad shows up and I gotta put a smile on that face. Hmm, let's do the walkthrough. So what was supposed to be this family bonding experience, the happiest moment of my life, the happiest moment of dad's life, I spent thinking about how horrible my hand felt. So every time dad would point something out, well, Michael, this closet's got a whole lot of room. I'm sitting there thinking, it sure does, dad. Oh, wow, yeah, it's a great looking kitchen. I didn't hear anything. All I heard was, and that's pretty much it. I that's really what happened. Bridget wanted to cry. She crushed my fingers right before I gave dad a house. And they still don't feel right. I don't know if you can see if there's any marks or anything, but she messed my shit up, dude. The back of my hand, it looks fine now, but good God, it still feels strange if I scratch my head, it still feels like my fingers are sort of numb. It's been over a week and she caused permanent damage to my motherfucking fingers. No, it will heal. So anyway, that's going to be it for today, you guys. I just want to tell you the story. I was holding my fingers in the door and Bridget rolled it up on me and they were stuck. I was fucking screaming, the neighbors came out, my hand bled, my hand felt broken, and I had to give dad a tour of the house under the most excruciating pain that I felt in many a year. I'm so sorry. That's going to be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. I was so sad that you wanted to like... That should have been the light. You were like telling me to get out your face and all that. I'm just like, Michael, I'm so sorry. You crushed my finger. It was such an accident, though. I, feel, like, I still feel bad. Subscribe, favorite. Follow me on everything. Add me on Twitter below. Bitch West. And that's it.